It's no surprise that our Second Amendment rights are under attack each and every single day. Today is no different. Yesterday I saw a tweet from Tim at the Military Arms Channel talking about a Washington State initiative called 1639. This initiative sets to set up background checks, storage requirements, waiting periods for purchasing semi-automatic assault rifles, as well as increasing the minimum age to buy semi-automatic assault rifles to 21. Now, this is extremely draconian in its implementation of restricting rights to people to keep and bear arms. And I'm really encouraging everyone who's watching this video to jump in the fight. Currently, there is a lawsuit against the state of Washington trying to repeal 1639, and uh, you guys can help. I'm going to share some ways that you guys can help here in just a second. Some of this measure went into effect at the beginning of the year on January 1st, but everything will go into full effect on the 1st of July. Now, I find it extremely hypocritical that we're perfectly fine with throwing our young men and women into uniforms and sending them to different places around the world to utilize fully automatic rifles or machine guns to defend freedom, but anyone inside the United States, especially inside the state of Washington, looks down, is being looked down upon for wanting to protect their home, their family, the people that they love. Can't even use a semi-automatic rifle to do so. But it's okay to go overseas and use all the fully automatic weapons that we want. It's extremely hypocritical. Right, So that's why I'm encouraging you guys to jump in the fight and help repeal 1639. Currently, there is a GoFundMe page that is up, and I've got it uh, right here. I can kind of share exactly what's going on with it. It is being put together by a Daniel Mitchell. I don't know who this individual is. I'm not connected with this GoFundMe page at all. But what they're aiming to do is to set up support for the plaintiffs, who are the Second Amendment Foundation and the National Rifle Association uh, to help with covering the legal costs. Now, both of those organizations are covering a lot of the legal costs, but they're not going to cover everything. The GoFundMe page is asking for uh, $50,000, and as of right now, they've raised $46,485. I'm going to contribute to this GoFundMe page just as soon as I get done, and I'm also going to become a member of the Second Amendment Foundation as soon as I get done with this uh, video as well. I'm already a member of the Firearms Policy Coalition, the Gun Owners of America, I am a member of the NRA, and like I said, I will become a member of the SAF. I encourage you guys to do that as well. Now, if you don't want to contribute to the GoFundMe page, it just doesn't sit right with you, whatever the case may be, that's perfectly fine. You can directly contribute to the organizations that are suing the state, whether that be the SAF or the NRA. And I get it, the NRA is not everybody's favorite organization right now, and that's perfectly fine, but the Second Amendment Foundation is in that fight as well. I encourage you guys to either become a member or make a single donation to them as well. Links to all of this is going to be down in the description below. The great thing about it is my channel is demonetized, so I can just pretty much post whatever I want anyway. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I really encourage you guys to uh, reach out and contribute. Now, one of the interesting things I just wanted to pass on here real quick is how this law was campaigned for, right? There's an organization called Save Our, let's see, excuse me, Safe Schools, Safe Communities, and they were able to raise five and a half million dollars to support this initiative. They ended up spending 5.68 million dollars to ram this law down the throats of law-abiding citizens in the state of Washington. In contrast, several different organizations that opposed this initiative were only able to raise just over $763,790, right? It was $794. They ended up spending 
excuse me, $949,555. So you can see the vast disparity between the two, right? Where is that money coming from for the organizations that we're supporting? That's a very good question. If you guys can do some digging, comment down in the comment section down below. That would be pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Are you going to support this? Are you guys going to, uh, you know, make a financial contribution to the organizations that are fighting this? I'd love to hear what your guys are thinking down in the comment section down below. This means a lot to me and I'm putting my money where my mouth is right now because I know that this stuff will spread like cancer. Yeah, it's in Washington state, but what do I care? I live in Montana or Kansas or Kentucky, you know, some free states, right? But eventually it will come knocking on your door. If we don't stop it now, it will continue to spread like wildfire. So I encourage you guys, get out, do your due diligence, please share it. At the very least, if you don't wanna contribute, maybe you've already contributed, share it with your friends on Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, whatever the case may be. I sure would appreciate it. That's really all I got, guys. Thanks so much, we'll catch you next time.